Hello, beautiful spirits. Welcome. This is a Leo energy check-in for love. So let's see what the overall energy is. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you stopped by. My name is Donna, and this is Irish Donna Tarot. So welcome aboard. Seeing beyond. Oh, look at this. Your third eye, Leo, is lit up. There's something that is coming into play in your relationship that you're starting to see clearly that you may not have seen before. This relationship has the energy of a grand symphony. Very complex, very beautiful, very layered. Something that would become a classic, something, a, a relationship of high value and harmony. Right, something they may not be quite accustomed to, something very different. Opening to discovery, you're opening your heart. Your person is opening their heart to the discovery of the magic within the parameters of this love relationship. Leo, here you are in your reading. Look at you. <laughs> the sun card front and center. I love it. The overall energy right now in your love relationship is a king of swords energy. Aquarius, it's enlightened, it's thoughtful. It's, a, it's energy that speaks to the fact that both of you are very at peace in the relationship. You're very comfortable. There's good communication between the two of you. Both of you are staying sort of cool, calm, collected, you know, letting things unfold as they will, enjoying the adventure, enjoying the ride, not making any decisions prematurely, and definitely keeping your wits about you on a spiritual, you know, and emotional level. Look at this sun card. I mean, everybody loves the sun, Leo. Everybody loves you. Look at that. That sun is larger than life. Look at the joy and the happiness that you're feeling within this connection. So is your partner. It's the Honey, I'm Home card, Cancerian energy. I can't wait to get there. I'm going to keep my emotions very much in check. I'm going to be very balanced as the energy both of you have, but both of you have a driving desire to be together. Very nurturing, very solid, really feeling like um, one another's spiritual and emotional home as well as physical. The Two of Cups. My God, this is a great reading. We have the energy, the Two of Cups is, it is thought to be the soulmate card of the Minor Arcana. It's Cancerian energy. It can be deep, intimate love. It can be a best friend. It can be a lover. It can be a marriage partner. Any kind of love. However, the traditional meaning does stay with the bride and groom, speaking their, offering their cups of love to one another in a ceremony. Could be hand fasting, could be marriage, could be whatever you decide. But both of you have given your hearts fully to one another. No holding back. I think in the future, or you may be appearing to hold back, but underneath the surface, the two of you are zipping forward and very, very quickly moving forward fast. The relationship itself has both of you in this very independent Virgo energy. Both of you are highly attractive to other people. Both of you are highly attractive to one another. People truly would like to date either one of you, but you are keeping yourselves pure for one another. The Tower card, okay, that's all about building foundations, knocking foundations down, epiphanies, sudden changes or events. It can be good news or bad news. Oftentimes, what we look at when we look at the Tower card is the cards around it. It also speaks to the fact that this is like that lightning bolt of love. It both This has taken both of you by surprise. It's shaking you both to your core. It's asking you to dig deep within to bring out the best in yourselves for this relationship. The Three of Cups, your best friends. That is a bridesmaid's dancing at the at the wedding reception, but it speaks to the joy and the happiness that you have when you're together. You know, the threes are also the trinity. It's deep love. It's a spiritual connection. The three of cups card is Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy, lots of Cancer energy here. 
we have once again Virgo energy. Both of you are willing to do the work. This is all about Monday through Sunday. It's all about being willing to put in the time. You know, you're neat, you're tidy, you're very good with each other, you're very patient with each other. You know, both of you see success and enjoyment in this relationship. The biggest fear, the only negative card is a fear card. And the wonderful part about a fear card is it's just that. Both of you may have experienced a time in the past when you weren't speaking. And it looks as though that is something both of you fear again. You never want to get into a disagreement that knocks you off course. The star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true, is a meaning of the card. It's Aquarius energy. It's all the answers are available to you. You know, really, both of you are very intellectual because with Mercury ruling the reading here with this double um, energy of the Knight of Pentacles, it's very strong. It speaks to the fact that your relationship is healed. It's exceptional. It's starry nights. It's a card that tells us, speaks so much to your person being, you're being con connected from spirit. Your heart space is pure. You're honest. You're both beautiful inside and beautiful outside with each other. It speaks to deep love, deep attraction, and unabiding loyalty in the heart space to one another. So let's go ahead and, and clarify some of the cards here. The good cards, I mean, almost every one of these cards is very pure energy, very easy to understand. So I'm going to clarify only the cards that may leave something unstated as they sit in the reading. Seven of Wands, both of you are willing to fight for this relationship. Both of you are a little bit defensive and self-protective of the relationship. Why? The star card, oh my gosh, look at that star, star. You are one another's rock star. You, It's very private. This relationship looks like it's a very, very private relationship. It looks as though both of you like want to close the world out. It's like I had a friend one time say to me in a snowstorm, well, you can't go in, but maybe it's a great time to close the world out. So that's the energy that I have. Look at this Nine of Pentacles again. Single, ready to mingle, but you're choosing to be with each other. You're highly desirable, both of you. People would really like to be with either one of you. The World card speaks to the fact that you've closed out a single, a, a time of confusion. You've closed out a period of where there may have been some player energy. You're very dedicated to each other spiritually, emotionally physically, you know, intellectually, you know, everything. Look at this nine of cups is popping up. Your this is wish fulfillment. The nine of cups energy is clarifying your fear. The two of you are fearful of not speaking because you're best friends. Your best friends here in the very truest sense out of all the friends that you have, this person is probably, including family and everybody you love, your person may well be within, quote unquote, the top nine relationships that you consider near and dear to your heart. Why do we have the Tower card here for beautiful Leo friends? There's been a time, there, there may be a time in the future when there is an argument, it could be soon, the Four of Swords is here saying that the two of you need to heal something. Why is it here, though, in the future? Why is it here in the future, Heart of Cups? So the Queen of Cups energy is so much about loving each other. It, I feel as though you have you don't talk about it, though. And I feel as though in the not talking about it, it has a negative impact on the relationship. Part of the foundation that needs to be built here is a willingness to embrace this verbally and to share your love for each other. It looks as though one person may be speaking about their love and the other person may not. And it does throw the person who's speaking about their love into a state of being uncertain. I, am I imagining this? One of you is saying, you know, in, the, in spirit, the three of coins. I think that you know each other through probably a collaboration, a work project. You may continue to work together. Spirit, tell us the significance of this tower at this time. 
Why is the Tower card here? Why do we need to be aware of it? Investing in each other. What you need to do, okay, so the Tower card says communication is key. One person is not opening up, although the feelings are there. One person is absolutely not willing to share their feelings. They're on lockdown. Um, and you know, one of you may be physically not feeling really well. The other of you is pretty emotional, pretty pretty overt in all of this, but Spirit is really telling you that you need to, you know, use that seven of coins, invest, you know. Don't be afraid of investment. You're already there. You've already arrived at this beautiful destination of ideal love. The three of cups again, clarifying the three of cups. The two of you are just joyful together. Is there, what is the short-term future of this relationship with the tower? Judgment, okay. What are you releasing? That's a karmic card. So a karmic person could get released, but it's also karma of past insecurities as I'm looking at this. High Priestess, both you, the two of you are very wise. The two of you have an un, you have an unspoken communication skill set. I would say the two of you are uh, you're able to communicate telepathically. Both of you may have very deep spiritual gifts. This is a High Priestess card. It can be the psychic. Why is a psychic card here? Ten of Cups. You feel like family together. The two of you are so close emotionally and it's so open that sometimes there's a little bit of discomfort on the part of one partner. The moon card. One partner is has some fear. Okay, how will that be resolved? How? What's the star ending on this relationship? How will the fears be resolved? Movement of Pentacles, doing the work. Knight of Pentacles again, slow movement forward. Oh, you're manifesting this beautiful relationship. Spirit of Cups, a deep scorpionic love for one another. Till death do us part kind of energy. All right. So, Leo, that's what I have for you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me what you think of the format. Tell me what you'd like to see if you have any questions for a general reading. You know, during the week, I would like to do some dailies. If you have a question that would appeal to more than yourself, please post in the comments below because I would love to do some dailies. But I like a guided message. I don't like random messages. So that is what I have for you. Thank you, Leo, for joining me. Hope to see you as soon again in another video. Bye-bye.